What is poppin' people? Welcome back. We, uh, I did a little bit of team maintenance, and I basically have a secondary team now, so check this out. Um, I actually, as I was grinding, I realized I had a honey tree. I went and checked it out off screen, and I ended up getting an apom, um, which is actually pretty sick. That's kind of one of the ones that I wanted out of the honey tree. So, we have apom now. Chocolate Chimp is his name, and, um... He's a little runaway guy, so we have that. I got everybody to 26, except for Reese's Puff, he's 25. Um, but, so the plan is to use these mons up until, you know, we get, you know, past the next gym. The level cap for the next gym is 30. So the old team was a little bit too high. We can go take a look at kind of the full array of mons we have. But it's actually kind of nice now that I have, I really have like two separate teams. So everybody else here was like almost level 30. Um... So, I also trained up this Ponyta. Probably not going to use that Ponyta for a while, but I was at the airport, and yeah. But, so this is the squad we're going to be working with for at least this episode. Um, and our current objective is to go get freaking Don's Pokedex back. The thieves have taken it. And we do not stand... We don't take too kindly to bullies around here. So, let's... Jesus, I hate the bicycle so much. I think it's over this way we're supposed to go. Yep. What up? Better to... Ready to whoop some ass? Can you please help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident. Team Galactic found it. Now they won't give it back. Need your help. I got you. I will team up with you. Don't worry. Beautifly and a Dustox. Nice little combo. I like it. Don's got her Clefairy. Sweet. Um, so I'll show off my new Apom here. He has strength. Um, but yeah, we're actually perfectly leveled for this. Is they're level 25, so this is good. Oh, I actually, I need to turn back on. I need, oh my God. The critical hit on Chimp? This is not a good start. Okay, Venishock on the Clefairy. I need to turn back on uh, move animations. I turned those off because I was grinding. Okay, Ch Chimp, we do not want you to die here right in your first freaking battle. So, let's go into Frosted Flake. Who needs to get... I need to get some uh, happiness or friendship on this freaking guy. So, I should probably actually have him out of the Pokeball. But, I think having a Crobat would actually be pretty sweet. Also, I, don't, I realize now I don't have a freaking flying move on this guy, damn it. I think they got rid of wing attack. Okay, there goes Don's Clefairy. Yeah, not the best matchup for you there, little Clefairy. Oh, she has a Kadabra too? I remember when I once had a Kadabra. Does anybody remember? Pepper Ridge, Pepper Ridge Farm remembers. But it's time to switch into life cereal. I think Gyarados is going to be pretty important to the Nuzlocke here moving forward, so. Yeah, rip the Shockwave TM. I did, in fact, lose the Shockwave TM because I taught it to that Kadabra and then it died immediately, so that was fun. Oh, there's Air Cutter. Nice. All right. Asking you shall receive. Air Cutter kind of blows, but better than Mean Look. We'll take it. I still think it's so weird that Gyarados gets Waterfall so early. Like, what? Why? I mean, I like it as a Gyarados owner, but uh, battling against a Gyarados at, like, level 23, no bueno. Alright, they've been defeated. The bull cut duo stood no chance. And that Don's Clefairy is dead now. She's not locking. That stinks. Our Pokemon are weak. We should get new ones from headquarters. <laughs> Team Galactic is going to own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. What? In the universe... We'll say, uh, you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. <laughs> at, least they, at least they're aware. What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Thank you sincerely. If Professor Rowan ever finds out that I lost my Pokedex, you know, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Ew. I should say you. What was he going to do to you? Thank you for going to Pastoria City, the Great Marsh there. And they have many kinds of Pokemon. How many bits for you to get your hair cut and dyed like a Galactic grunt? <laughs> I'll go back and heal just in case. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Is there any shenanigans that I can do? I don't think we. I think we come back to this place, right? Let's get the TM for fly. I for, always forget that they just you get fly right here. Um. Nice. We can do some flying, boys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What have we here? You're not Team Galactic. You're a little kid to boot. Uh, those things that we made the. But the energy we took from the Valley Windworks are ready in Pastoria City. That's not what this is about. Oh, well, now we know where we're supposed to go. This guy freaking blew it. So yeah, we can't go in here without a key. Um, and I think, I think now we pretty much just go down to Pastoria. We can actually battle the gym there. And then just enjoy life. You're gonna take Route 2, 214. You're serious, aren't you? It's too badly chewed up and there's nothing to see there. Guess there's a Rune Maniac guy you could check out. Guy's been digging his way through the bedrock all by himself. Interesting. 
Let's do it. Um, I think we can catch a new Pokemon here on this route as well. So 214, I am sure it's just going to be, you know, a damn Bidoof as our first encounter. But we'll get something new. Oh, get a massage for the Golbat. I should, yes. Immortal. I'm sorry. I will do it. Ghastly gets to levitate, but Haunter, or, but Gengar does not. It's upsetting. Fuck, I need to turn back on the move animations. Is Mistrevious a uh, Pearl exclusive? I think it is. Anyway, that thing's dead. Alright, um, here's what we're going to do. In order to get this little feller's happiness up, we need to walk together. Well, not stop. We need to walk together with Frosted Flake. Even though the guy doesn't walk. But, he flies. And, uh, you know what this bat needs? A freaking massage. So I'm going to go do that real quick. Looking a little tired? Uh, give a massage. Yes, please. This is the little fella right here that needs it, Frosted Flake. So just rub down my bat. Just how that's that's how COVID started. <laughs> bat massage. All right, back to Route 214. There is some berries and some grass. We're interested in the grass. Let's see what we can get for our first encounter. Shall we? Mm -hmm. It. Ooh, it's a giraffe rig. We actually got something new on our first encounter. My God. All right, giraffe rig caught. Thank you very nice. Thank you very much. Gets a bunch of levels on stuff. This is why we have the B team. They they can get the levels. The other ones cannot. Its tail has a separate small brain. The tail bites to repel any foe trying to sneak up on the Pokemon from behind. <laughs> Do not sneak up on Giraffe Rig. His little tail gonna bite you. All right, Golden Graham the Giraffe Rig. There it is. We will add this to. Ah, we'll send it to the box for now. Don't worry, Golden Graham. We'll come back for you, buddy. I will come back for you. I will not forget you. All right. Um, more trainers. Hey, look at you. What trainer class are you? Whoa, Jesus, the camera there. It was crazy. All right. Wow. Why do they make the camera move on certain trainers and not others? I don't know what the hell's going on. All right, so a Goldeen versus a Big Rock. That's not a good matchup for your boy. It's only level 23, though. Like, what the hell is the thought process? They're like, yeah, uh, you just battled level 30s in the gym. And then the next route after this, 23. I, I mean, I just, no, no. Another Goldeen. You say that so they get to the Elite Four. Yeah, I mean, I have, the Elite Four, I've heard, is actually difficult. Which is fine. But, like, why make the whole entire game a breeze? And then, like, the Elite Four would be challenging. You know? You fucked around one. I probably will not beat the Elite Four first try. I'm gonna remember to turn battle animations on after killing that Goldeen. I like your style, though. This person has just got Goldeens. Fuck yeah, Sea King. No Sea Kings, but, you know. Um, hold on. Hold on. There's... This is, a. Uh, this is the Ruin Maniac place or something. Sup? Everyone calls me a Ruin Maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep on chipping away at the rock wall little by little. Do you know why I'm a Ruin Maniac who's fascinated by the unknown? No, it's a little sudden, but how about you give me a race? Uh, you can catch the unknown, I'll keep digging away. So I think it's like you have to catch every unknown letter or something. I don't really remember this guy's deal, but he has dig in his cave, so at least he's pretty useful. Thanks, Ruin Maniac. Appreciate you. Okay, hold on. We can get a, We can get an encounter in this cave. Actually, forget that there's wild Pokemon in here. Let's see Let's see what they got, you know? It's a bummer that I can't have my Golbat out with me in the cave, but... Alright, first encounter here is... Uh, the freaking Geodude. Apparently there's hippos here. There it is. <laughs> the very next encounter, we've got the hippo. This hippo was meant to be. Nice. Well, I like it. We might have to just switch to, like, general breakfast foods. Because I'm running out. Alright, this is oatmeal. This is a hot cereal. <laughs> Says Samantha. And, uh, I will not add this to my party. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna send you to a box for now. But hey, we love having that thing. Alright. Okay, so I really should probably try to avoid pretty much any trainers that I can. So heck that guy. Heck that guy in particular, too. Um... I'm just, I'm just doing some sweet exploring. Uh, this guy we cannot avoid. We'll, we'll battle you. Why not? Been traveling around the world chasing stories on mysteries. It's made me pretty tough. All right, this is one of those. Uh, it's one of these these ruin maniacs, huh? Yep, ruin maniac hunter. We're, we're seeing some new. No, never mind. We've seen a ruin maniac before. Just, I remember his stubble. All right, I'll shield on. This guy did find himself a fossil. Collect. That's a good idea. All right, one more bulldoze. Your shield face is dead. Sayonara. Hello? Max Potion. All right, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Got another honey tree here. You know what? I'm gonna... No, oh, I don't have any more honey. Shit. I'm out of honey? 
Where do you even get honey? All right, we got one last sign to, oh, I thought he was blocking the way. Oh, apparently he wasn't. For the sake of my collection, I take I take all the people I know I can't beat. That's what a collector does. <laughs> what? That's not good collecting. Collecting L's is what this guy does, Jesus. Level 20 Roselia, this guy really was not kidding. This guy was not kidding about collecting L's. He's at like level 20, what is this? A third Roselia. The Mad Lad has done it. This one's level 24, so it's like almost a threat, but not really. Beautifly says, yeet. He did. Um, here we have Valor Lakefront. This is also a new encounter. I don't know if there's really anything else in this grass. Is there anything new that I can get here? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. All right, so yeah, there's literally nothing new in this grass, and we're just gonna we're just gonna call it a call it a day. What's up, scientists? We've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area. Reason I'm not too sure, but apparently to protect the lake. Huh. All right, well, that's not my business. Clearly, we're just gonna continue on. Got a free paralyzed heal. Nice. And then I always forget about this little like half city. We got uh, like the resort area or whatever it is. I think there's some people to battle in there. Thing is, we don't want to battle any more people. Do we go about seven stars restaurant? More flavor than you can wish for. <laughs> huh, that's a good slogan. I like it. This guy's just having a dip here. Come back here after you defeated the champion. Don't forget about me here, okay? What does that guy do? I don't remember. I'd rather be in the pool than in the sea. The salty tang of the sea tastes like my tears after a hard day at work. What? <laughs> All right. People are people be spitting out here. All right. Well, let's just continue down here. I think this person heals. You wish to stay the night? I'm afraid we're totally booked. You may rest a while if you wish. So you get a free heal here, which is something that I always forget about. This 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 kind this kind officer just gives us a nap, and uh, we shall continue. Ooh, there's an item route two thirteen. Very nice. Got a red shard. Cool. Thank you for that. What are y'all doing with your shellus? I stand stoically in front of the deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. <laughs> nice. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. That's that's cool. Um, we'll battle these. We'll battle this little tuber just because. Why not? This 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 here was the true first pokey tuber. I'll have you know. <laughs> Get up a barrel. This is also a cool battle environment. We haven't really seen the beach before yet, so that's kind of nice. Um, a crunchy. Also, Gyarados gets the best early move set. We get we got Waterfall at like level 23, and then Crunch soon after. Like, damn, they they really looked at Gyarados and thought this guy needs a freaking buff. Gyarados is not strong enough. I tell you what, <laughs> let's give him some better moves earlier. I'm only lacking on bounce. True. Is there really nothing in a single trash can in this? All right, takes care of you. I can't get over how beautiful the water looks. Also, what the hell was that? Was like a ripple. Oh, damn it. I accidentally battled this guy because I was trying to go find the ripple. Now I got to pop this kid's tube. Man. Pops to 29 and three shallowses. Three shallowses, huh? At least it's some different ones. Which, which shallows is better? Blue or pink one? I think blue. If you say pink, your opinion is invalid. It's like there's something just out of sight that's swimming back and forth right there. I'm sure it is just like a swimmer. <laughs> Alright, go through the little passage here. And, uh, got a fisherman chilling. I really can't afford to let my Pokemon grow any more levels, to be honest. Which is upsetting. But, it's okay. Maybe come back and battle these people later. We got Dr. Footsteps House. This guy has the ultimate foot fetish. He's like, hey, let me see your feet. Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. I need, uh, I need only to see their footprints and their innermost thoughts are revealed to me. Are you skeptical of my claim? Then you let your Gyarados walk in front of me right here. Let me see your Gyarados feet. I will determine how it feels about you. <laughs> what? Aiden treats me, life, nicely without being scared. But I will be even scarier from now on. Hmm. Alright. Gyarados doesn't leave any footprints. Somehow difficult for me to determine what its thoughts are. <laughs> what the fuck? He's like, bring me Pokemon with feet, dammit. And then this leads us to a new route, so we can catch something here. And I know for a fact there is new stuff here, right? So let's see what we can get, please. Oh, it's a it's the blue shallow. Speak of the devil. Nice. That's actually that's a new encounter for us because we do not have a gastrodon or shallows yet. 
Uh, we tried to get one at Valley Windworks. was one area where we knew we could get one. But hey, nice. Level 20 Shallows. Guess what, buddy? You're coming with freaking me. I love him. Click. He has been caught. All right, Shellos. I like that. Gastron's a great Pokemon. If it has Storm Drain, it's even better. Crave Cereal. I truly... I feel like I need to try more cereals. Oh. Um, should I add this thing to my party? I feel like I might as well add it to my party here. Just for just for a moment. Let's um let's take a look at old Crave here. It's calm nature. That's pretty good. Alright. Oh, and it's sticky hold. Damn it. We don't want sticky hold, man. Come on. Alright, so getting out of this area, this leads us to Pastoria City. And uh, there's a lot of stuff to do around here. This is actually exciting. I like this city. The main thing I like about this place is the cardboard cutout. And it better freaking be here. Oh my god, it's not here. Are you serious? We just don't have a what the hell? It wasn't there a thing here that I could like put my face in before? <laughs> the one thing I was looking forward to, they've taken from me. This is what they've taken from us, guys. Oh, it was in Platinum and not Diamond and Pearl. What the hell? Man, Platinum is truly the superior game. I am... I'm upset. Why wouldn't they have just put the Platinum stuff in here? Just call it Diamond and Pearl, you know? Fuck it. I'm getting a refund. Honestly. So... <sighs> I guess we'll take my disappointment into the Great Marsh. Um, the way we're gonna do Great Marsh is that I'm just gonna catch the very first thing that we can find in here. Um... There is actually also some necessary stuff, I think, to... Do you get, don't you get surf from here or something? What? There is there actually no reason to really go in here? I don't remember. The Great Marsh is definitely the worst safari zone in any Pokemon game. Change my mind. Oh, it's Defog in here. Alright, so... There's a bunch of different areas and stuff. I've never... I never really spent much... Much time in here. I don't really know why, but... Let's just hop on the old train. Hey, the train looks actually kind of cool. Um, it seems unnecessary to take me that far, but... <laughs> Let's see what we can find in the mud. Oh, I hate the slow... Oh, God. Oh, I slipped right in there. Oh, they they even found a way to make it even more obnoxious, the mud. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus, Muriel. Hey, if I get Carnivine as my first encounter, um, that'd be cool, because I think it's actually pretty rare in this. So, We're rooting for Carnivine. Come on. Carnivine. Oh, it is a grass type, though. Okay, we needed this. I did need a Roselia. I'm probably the only person in the world that hasn't had a Roselia on my team. Um, I'm just gonna throw a ball at it because that's, I feel like, the best way to go about it. I do like the Safari Ball. Let me kind of look. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't run. Thank you. If it does flee, we don't get another chance to catch anything here. So, I really hope you stick around, Roselia. I would enjoy. I would enjoy having you. It'd actually be nice for the upcoming gym and everything, so yes, yes. Hell yeah. Raised on clean drinking water are known to grow vividly colored flowers. Yes. They're vivid. Alright. Well. Cheerio, mate. Is <laughs> Cheerio the Roselia. Doesn't make any sense, but that's our fella. Um, we'll add you to the squad. We'll get rid of Crave since you're not freaking the right ability. Maybe we got a good Roselia here. Let's take a look. All right, Rose, don't disappoint me here. Be modest or something. Serious. Damn it. Well, that's fine. Poison point. Okay. Well, it comes with Mega Drain, Leech Seed, Magic Leaf, and Toxic Spikes. That's actually a pretty pog moveset already. I like it. Why would Area 6 be the beginning? This place is all backwards. Freaking Great Marsh. It's not so great, if you freaking ask me. Uh, is it literally just this? Is it you? Uh, no, he's just singing. Okay, talking about the tram. Is it you? Found these during the Safari game. Each of these TMs contain Defog, but none of my Pokemon can learn that move. Alright. Gives us the TM97s. And all my homies hate Fog, so we're about to blow that shit away. Thank you for that. And alright, our work here in the Safari Zone is essentially done. Or Great Marsh, same thing. Uh, we, caught, we caught a flower there. We had a great time. And thank you for that. So... Our Roselia here is only level 24, but something tells me that's still going to be fine for <laughs> a while, at least, because everything's so low-leveled. So let's heal, and then I think we just go do the gym, essentially. Alright, here we've got the gym, and uh, we're just going to head right on in. I love how there's really no story between the two gyms. Ooh, look at this. 
everybody be swimming. This is the same puzzle as it was in Platinum, I believe. Um, so yeah, you hit some buttons and you change the, the levels of the water and stuff. Pretty fun. Pretty fun stuff. What's up, Tuber? I don't think we really need to battle everybody, but now that since I got this little new baby, Roselia, I'm going to put him to work. Tuber Jackie. Ooh, I do like the battle environment here. We got a Buizel. Nice. Goldbat's like one of the easiest friendship evos in this game. Why? Wouldn't it be easier? Wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't they all be the same? Why would it be easier? Alright, take care of you. This Roselia's already putting in work. I told you, didn't need to grind this fella up. They really encourage you using new Pokemon, because everything's so low level. <laughs> okay, now we press on this. Nice. And now, this allows us to go down this way. It's a little, it's a little moist down here. A little moisture never hurt nobody. Hello? Yes. I have mastery over the incredible power of water. You won't win. This, I love how this guy's just fishing, and there's no water there. <laughs> This Roselia is the most all-powerful flower in all of the land. Nothing stands a chance. Barboach is a very forgotten Pokemon, for real. I do like Whiskash, though. He's a chill guy. Now I press Now I press this. These do seem like very satisfying buttons to, to step on. Uh, now this goes all the way around. We got a Sailor. Guy in his little full Sailor outfit. I've traveled all over the globe while raising Pokemon. This is the gym I've chosen. You find it a handful for sure. A handful of D's nuts, sailor. You gotta make sure you have your binoculars. Now they're gone. Ooh, we got a wingle. Okay. A wingle. We're going into tricks. I love how this is giving me an opportunity to use my Pachirisu. I do have a Luxray, but I think Pachirisu is cool. Use Roost at full health, man. Haven't you learned anything traveling across the whole globe? Man. Rosted Flake to 29, so 30 is still the level cap. If we get to 30, that's where we gotta stay, so. At least I think. Does anybody, can, can anybody confirm? I'm pretty sure 30 is the highest we can get to. Here's what I'm gonna do. I actually, what is leave Reese's Puff on the team for now? Just because it'll allow it to, uh, just get some more experience share, love. And then we'll switch it before the gym leader, obviously. But I think now we can go. Up to here, and then we're pretty much pretty much at the gym leader. I want to become a strong trainer like Crasher Wake. Oh, do you? Oh, do you, Tuber? Oh, he's got Sap Sipper. Oh, God. I've underestimated the Azrael. I do love his little animation. Look at him bouncing on his tail. <laughs> I've heard that the Elite Four Pokemon have, like, EVs, and I like all of them have items and stuff. Is that true? Azrael and the Meryl. Spark you again, too. All my homies love Pachirisu. The pure power of this guy is unmatched. This squirrel here, it should evolve though. Poor little squirrel doesn't evolve. He's like, I just stay a little squirrel forever. Tuber had like no money. Thanks for the $380, broke girl. Uh, another fisherman there, but I don't really. I mean, I guess we might as well. You know what? Hag it. We're battling you too. Land of the most fish in the world? This guy's number one. This guy's Smitty Werberman Jensen. No. Number one fisherman? I, I do like how they, they send out their Pokeballs with the fishing rod. That's actually kind of cool. You just cast the Pokeball, Pokeball out there. Why are all fishermen practically dressed as red? True. They're cosplaying. Look at this fisherman over here. Wants to be red. Wait. Reese's Puff to level 29. You can't see the guy. There he is. He pretty much, yeah, he's pretty much red. Maybe red's truly a, a fisherman. My god. Substitute? Hello? What the hell moveset does this Gyarados have? Sir, what have you done to your Gyarados? <laughs> Down goes the Gyarados. Thing was no freaking problem. Trix wants to learn Sweet Kiss? No, no, no. We don't play that shit. Uh, we step on that, which allows nothing to happen. So what the hell? What? Okay, I think we go all the way around. We got this trainer here. And then we're at Wake, boys. Like the Raging Sea, I crash down and wash away everything before me. Let's do it, boy. All right, got a Shellos, nice. Samson! Trogdor! Alright, Choco Chimp to level 30, that's level cap for old Chimpy. Next is a Wingle. Okay. So I can't go past 30. Man, freaking... Chimp is just clutching it right now. Try, they always roost at full health, so that's... That makes it nice and easy for my little squirrel to come in here, give you a little spark, and you're dead. So now we hit this. That brings this all the way up. For us, and uh, 
This allows us to go right to wake. Now, the question is, can I... Oh, no, you can't go into the boxes in here. Shoot, dang. I have to go, I have to go all the way out of here <laughs> to change the team. All right. Uh, we're going to... I will be bringing... Oh, Luxio, not Luxray. Sorry. Bringing Luxio in place of Golem. And then... Um, I could, like, bring other stuff. I could bring pretty much anybody else, but, like, do I really need to? I could bring Machamp instead of, uh... You know what? We'll bring Staravia instead of the old Chaco Chimp, because I'm afraid of this little feller dying before it evolves. I love Ambipom so much, so... We're gonna do that. Do I have more Thunderbolts? I do. I have one extra Thunderbolts. And now, uh, while this seems like this would be a bad play, Thunderbolt Gyarados is absolutely OP new meta. We're getting rid of Tackle. And this will allow Gyarados to basically take any hit from anything in this place. I would actually prefer to have Thunder, but Thunderbolt's gonna work. Mark my words. Oh boy. We've done it. Senor Wake. I don't know your, I don't know your Pokemon really. Um, I do know that this flower is gonna be probably a little scary, but you know what? Screw it, this guy about buff as hell. Look how small I look compared to this dude. Damn, bro. Welcome. Don't get challenged very often. The glory you're now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. The glory, huh? My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and pull you under. I'm kind of afraid. All right. Let's try not to get pulled under here. Uh, this guy's just freaking wrestler. Look at him. He's just ready to fight me himself. All right, so he has three Pokemon. Uh, and he leads off with the Gyarados. Oh, Christ. Okay, I probably should not have put... Probably should have done... Went and not put Roselia in front. Um, so that's not great. It also probably has Ice Fang. And so... All right, let's... Maybe switch into my own Gyarados. Honestly. I feel like... I feel like that's a pretty safe option. I can get an Intimidate here. Unless his has Thunderbolts. Oh god, does his have electric moves? There's no way. A little Gyar with Gyar action. Uh, he just does go for the Ice Fang. Alright. As expected. Does nothing. And now, T-Bolt. Okay, he just crunches. Alright, after Intimidate. Okay, so Gyarados taking some damage here early. Not really ideal. I probably should have known that, or figured out that he leads with Gyarados. We do get the para there, which allows to add speed. Nice. Pog. So, Thunderbolt Gyarados has proven <laughs> worthy. <laughs> Nothing like a good old special attack in Gyarados, you know? I like it. I like it. That takes care of his first Mon. One down. Two more to go. Life to 29. Lucky Charms to 30. There you go, buddy. Finally hit level cap there. Uh, next is Quagsire. Um, this is exactly why I have the flower, I believe. Unless... Well, whatever. We're, we're going into the flower. I don't think Quagsire literally has anything that can take care of this. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm only level 26. I'm just a little guy. Rain Dance. Oh, jeez. I honestly don't remember this guy's team, to, to be quite honest. Makes it rain indoors. I'm going to boost some water damage, but that's all right. I'll just go right for a Mega Drain. Cheerio says, get eight. I, I literally feast on your life force. And, all right, that's fine. Mud Bomb, that's all right. Drops my speed, which, okay, I'm just stuck in the mud out here. And these super potions, which is actually fine, because now with this Giga Drain, we just get my health back and stuff. I will take more of your health, good sir. I love Quagsire. Look at him in his little arms. He's just having a good time. That's a crit. Night, wait. No, I'm just kidding. Was that not? Bugs are dead. Okay, things are going pretty swimmingly here so far. Pun intended. Cheerio to 27. And, uh, oh. Okay. That there, that was a good move. <laughs> Thanks. And his last mon is Floatzel. So, level 30 Floatzel. Probably has, so it's Swift Swim. It probably has Ice Punch. Uh, that's kind of scary. I'm going to go into Lucky Charms here. Get a little Intimidatier. And we should be okay. Floatzel is a little scary. What's gonna happen here? What does Floatzel do? The threat is in, and the rain is up. But Luxio's got some sweet pants on, so we ain't afraid. There's the Ice Fang. And good god, that does a lot. Oh my god, and it froze me! <laughs> uh, and that did a lot with non-stab, plus if he goes for like a waterfall here in the rain, that's gonna be not too great, so... 
I'm gonna switch in Gyarados Snout to get a double in another Intimidate on this thing. We just stay intimidating. Nothing like a freaking Popsicle Luxio. Great, great job, Luxio. I bring you for this battle, and what do you do? You come in and just get frozen. What is this? So another Intimidate as it brines. Okay, it doesn't the Intimidate does not help us there? Freaking brine. Uh, got a crit on me, and I do not feel safe here at all. I am unsafe. Um. I kind of would like to get in one of these little fellas. I, I think if I go into tricks here, damn, it's actually unfortunate that it has brine. Oh god. Yeah. So the next brine will do double damage. This floatzel is actually a problem, boys. This is not good. I need an adult. Um. I don't know. If I was higher level on Cheerio, I'd feel safer about taking an Ice Fang, but I don't feel safe currently. Um. Can I bring in tricks? Oh god. I cannot heal now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What do I do? Golbat probably doesn't want to come in because it does have the option for the Ice Fang. But with double Intimidates, I guess it's not very scary. Um, hmm. I think we just believe in the power of Pachirisu. Why? We love Pachirisu around here. At least the rain turns are starting to dwindle, yeah. Uh, and there's just a bite. Why you bite me? I think we're actually safe here. I'm gonna go for a nuzzle. Um, eh, we're actually probably not very safe, to be honest. But screw it. Pachirisu's going for it, boys. It just bites again. All right. Don't flinch me, please. Fuck! What What did I just say, Pachirisu? <laughs> now I feel even less why, why safe. Why am I going that way? I feel even less safe about... You can hear Sam playing League of Legends in the background. <laughs> uh, screw it, I'm going for a nuzzle again. He's just gonna... Now we Aqua Jets. Okay, this thing really still at least allows me to get the nuzzle off, and that's great, because now we just handicap this little feller. So we've got two Intimidates and a Para on this thing. The rain stops, which is perfect, and so now no more boosted water. Um, and now we can, um, we can, I feel like we can safely go into Cheerio, not gonna lie. We're going into Cheerio, it has two Intimidates, it's Ice Fang can't do much, there's any no way. Is this thing set the rain back up? You think he has Rain Dance also? What moves have I seen here? I don't even know. Just goes for the brine. All right. Cheerio says that is fine. Just waters my flower, makes me grow stronger, and I can Mega Drain you. Get some health back. We are faster because you're paralyzed. You don't have your Swift Swim anymore. There was like a really big delay on that. The flower is doing it, boys. The flower is making it happen. I can't believe the Great Martian Counter has actually worked out. What? He has a Citrus Berry. What the hell? Okay, well that's actually kind of cool. It does get the Ice Fang off. All right, that hurts actually quite a bit. Um, but after drain damage, we're pretty much fine. We're okay. Once we get the oh, that just takes it out. This flower is too damn strong. <laughs> Look at this little dance he's doing. All right, so that takes care of it. Okay, yeah, we would have been dead to crit there, but. We just be rolling the dice. Strix goes to level 30, and Frosty Flake to level 30 as well. We never, nobody even got past 30. Amazing. Wake defeated. Get destroyed. Hunwa! It's gone and ended. Yes, Hunwa, indeed. $3,800. Thank you very much, sir. All right, great success, boys. And to top things off, a little cherry on the top. Luxio is evolving, and we finally get Luxray. One of the one of the best freaking, probably like the best Sinnoh Pokemon. Changed my mind. Amazing. Except he's not dark type. The only thing that would make him cooler is if he was part dark. Which, I don't know why he wouldn't be, but... There we have it. Luxray is ours. It has eyes that can see through anything. It spots and captures prey hiding behind objects. Man. Oh my god. I just made the biggest revelation. His name is Luxray because he's got X-ray vision. I just learned something new. Maybe I knew that before? <laughs> Holy shit. I don't think I ever knew that Luxray could see through stuff. Hello? Oh! And Frosted Flake is evolving! This is the best day ever! Hold up. And we're getting Crobat too? Amazing. Damn. The team is really moving up in the world. See, it actually didn't take very long for this thing to... To evolve. Can we get a triple? Can someone else evolve, please? Having four wings enables it to fly faster and more quietly. <laughs> It turns active when the night comes. Very, very cool. And we're learning Cross Poison too. Hell yes. All right, we'll get rid of Astonish. Ain't nobody got time for that. 
And, uh, wow. I was not planning on using that little Zubat that we got, but it's worked out for us now. It seems the Undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You earned this. And we got ourselves our fourth badge, ladies and gentlemen. All my other badges are looking about crusty as hell, but that's alright. And, uh, we got the Fen Badge. Why is it called the Fen oh Badge? Should be the Fin Badge. You need that Fen Badge to use the hidden move Defog from your Pokatch. A special reward for me. In recognition of your team's power, obtain the stickers that Wake uses. Sticker collection grows ever stronger. And some TM55 is Brian, right? Mm, we got Brian, nice. Inflicts double the damage on targets with less than half their HP left. Very cool. Use it to end battles decisively. Alright, well nice, we've done it! Um, now we can kind of progress the story here. I think there's going to be some fun, some fun stuff happening. And I'm very glad that nobody's died, so that's always good. So we take a step on outside, and Crobat's like, wow, look at me. I have so many more wings now. Okay, two more. Um, we haven't really actually even explored anywhere in Pastoria. I know that there's... This is like the move relearner or something. So now, I think we, we're supposed to talk to this suspicious fellow over here who's just checking out this tree. Hello? It's a nice looking tree you got there. The package finally came from the Veilstone Warehouse. So now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. An important mission? No failure allowed. No making boo-boos like wandering off into the Great Marsh. Who are you talking to? You were eavesdropping, just like I was talking loudly to myself. Oh, he understood that he's talking to himself. If I wasn't in a hurry, I'd pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to get on my way to the lake ASAP. You're lucky I'm out. This guy's gonna go blow some shit up. Alright, and uh, we're gonna follow him because we don't... We don't let any shenanigans happen on our watch. He didn't make it very far. Hello? Persistent pest. Our plan works. Our boss's dream comes closer to fruition. Our boss's ideal world is gonna be created. Okay. I never... I don't understand what these guys are all about, but... Oh, look at who it is. Whoops, hee hee. I'm not... Not always gonna plow into you every time we meet. Yeah, you freaking better not, guy. How's it going, Hayden? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Oh, shit. He just battles us right now. This guy's gonna test us to see how buff and tough we are, boys. Alright. Rival battle. Again. He's still got a Starly. You have got to be absolutely kidding me. Still just a Starly? Hello? What's my dude's problem? Level 26? Oh, no. I've been plucked. Actually, that kind of hurt. Thunderbolt for the kill. Alright, take care of the Starly with the Thunderbolts. Why the hell he still has a Starly? The world may never know. I love how my stream is also in the background. Sam has the stream up on her computer. Uh, trying to learn light, Night Shade. Um, it's probably going to be a nah for me. Um, just, yeah. No thanks. Next is a Prinplup. So at least, at least he's evolved his freaking starter. It's level 31, so hey, that's actually kind of scary, dude. I don't like that. Um... Does it have Ice Beam or something, you think? I could just stay in a Thunderbolt. That's what I'm gonna do. Gengar is not afraid of your Prince Plup. Your, your Prince Penguin. And I'll actually just... Oh, okay. Kinda thought that was gonna kill, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> it charms. I swear to God, they they program this, the rival's UI, or uh, AI, to be just the dumbest possible. What In what world would you click charm there? What the hell you thinking, guy? Absolutely nonsense is what that is. <laughs> Lucky Chimes at 31. Captain Crunch at 30. Very nice. Staravia moving on up in the world. Cherry at a 28. Little guy. He's making it there. Alright, next is a Ponyta. Cool. On this Luxray that's using special attacks. That would be good. Maybe get a crit that time. I swear I never... I always get the crits. It doesn't make a single difference. Alright. Level 26 flower. So, Berry is high key dookie. Absolutely. All right, Captain, go, Captain Crunch. Wing attack on the flower, and we've done it. We've shown him how 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 buff we are now, and hopefully that keeps him away for a little while. There you go, Barry. Also, Barry, I have a, a very important mission that I'm on right now. I was trying to follow that Galactic guy. Now he's probably long gone. Damn it, Barry. Maybe he did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got, I got beat because I was careless. Now you got beat because you use agility and growl on everything. Like what? And he gets out of there. All right, now we continue and follow the dude. Hello? Oops, accidentally clicked on your books. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Move Maniac. I prefer Move Tutor. Yeah, he's like, everybody calls me a maniac. I'm not even crazy, man. I just teach Pokemon moves. <laughs> um, so I do have some heart skills. Got these from the underground. Oh, look, you can just do it in the Pokemon in the boxes too. Wow, that's a quality of life update. Uh, Frosted Flake here would be interested in your moves, good sir. What have you got? What move should I teach? Toxic! Absolutely. Amazing. 
Uh, that'll actually come in handy quite a bit. So we can get rid of... I mean, absorb. <laughs> really, Don't really know why I still have absorb on this thing, but okay. Back to the issue at hand. We've truly let that galactic guy get away with it this time. He's... That guy is... That guy is long gone, damn it. Just kidding, he's probably like right here. Galactic friend? Where are you? I know... Wow, well, I thought he was actually closer than... Damn it! I forgot to... We didn't battle this lady. Let me demonstrate my technique. Alright. It's not a good time for me to see a technique, lady. Damn it. Killing some kitties on the beach. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kitty's like, man, this is the biggest litter box I've ever seen. Where the hell is the guy? He's like right here, isn't he? I've seen clips of where he goes up and takes the, <laughs> your Pokemon with oh, you. We needed the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific genius. What the hell are you talking about, friend? You're eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. This guy always talking to himself. Can you battle me already? Nope, he just bails. He did not take my Pokemon with him, which is sad, but... Look at Luxray, beautiful guy running around. Alright. Um, so we're just gonna follow this dude until he's so annoyed of us that he just finally, I think, battles us. I think? I don't remember. Pant, why am I running like this anyway? The, universe, the new universe the boss was talking about. It's giving me goosebumps thinking about it. Really? You're eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. So you're persistent too. I'm pooped out from all the running. I'm not gonna battle you. Hey, he doesn't even battle us. What a, what a freaking coward. Man. <laughs> so he runs just all the way to the right, right there. You're still on my tail? You leave me no choice. My Pokemon will knock you. Okay, now he eventually does battle you. Just, just quite the quite the chase we had there. He only has one Pokemon. And it's a Glamio. Okay. Meow. Alright, that takes care of the Glamio. See you later, kitty. And we've done it. <laughs> he does his little his little scared face. I can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I'll have to give this to the commander. Wish I got to use it at the lake. He just strolls away with his bomb. And, uh, okay. Alright, continuing on. Hey, look at this. It's, it's mom. Oh, you guys are in trouble now. Mom's here. <laughs> what up, Cynthia? Actually, no, she just gives us the, the Psyduck medicine, I think. Hello, long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? Came to research the folklore about the lake, but it doesn't appear the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard about the folklore? Uh, I've not. No, the folklore? Say there's an island inside the lake and a mysterious Pokemon resides there. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? I have. These freaking assholes are blocking the road, damn it. By the cafe. Uh, seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their uh, hands? <laughs> anyway, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. Cynthia, why don't you do it? You seem to be getting around pretty easily here. You could totally just go and do that for us. Uh, put the bag of secret medicine in your, in your bag item pocket. Went to a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger. It may help you uncover the secret behind the mysterious Pokemon you're searching for. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. Thanks, Cynthia. What are the little things coming off her head, by the way? They're like they're like Umbreon ears, but they're not. Now, what the hell are those? All right, back to Route 210. We've made it. Golem is like, thank God, some sunlight. All right, Psyducks. I've got some medicine for you. They aren't inclined to move at all. Would you like to use the secret medicine? Is this THC prepared to be cured of their chronic headaches? I just gave him some, some CBD. Nice. And then they bail. They're like, well, thanks. We're just going to go find somewhere else to stand now. <laughs> Wait, you left him behind. All right, so this is a whole new area. And, uh, oh, Cynthia's here. See? Like, Cynthia, why didn't you just do that? You literally gave me the medicine. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches. But no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh, yes, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there's some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it will be worth your while to go. All right, you sure. Got myself the old charm. Also, why don't you deliver it to your grandmother, Cynthia? Uh, has this sort of bossy air about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. As for the location, look on your town map. You can't miss it. I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Where are you going? Why don't you do it? Whatever. Okay, so this technically, I believe, is the same route as before. Uh, so we can't catch anything in this grass, I don't think. But soon, I think it will be... Uh, it'll be all foggy and shit, and then we'll get to the new area. Whoa! Go Golem is on the tree! What the hell? Golem, get down from there, damn it! You do not belong up there. How, <laughs> How the hell did he get up there? Golem, get down from there. Oh god, he's glitching out. 
He's like, I don't. I, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have climbed up here. He's like, I'm mean, gonna need to call the fire department to get my golem down from the tree. He tweaking out. Come on, golem. Oh, okay. He's back. <laughs> this game is so glitchy. I kind of love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did they make the fog like this? <laughs> what the fuck? The fog is just horrible. Good lord. It's like, oh, I can see and I can't see. And I can see, and I can't see, so... <laughs> Looks like I need to teach defog to somebody, huh? Well, shoot, dang. Oh, can I just do it in the poke etch? Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. I honestly forgot about the poke etch. Uh, okay, hidden moves. Yes. A wild Staraptor helped out by using defog. Yes. Hey, that's actually our first time even seeing Staraptor. Sick. Okay, so we, we blow away the fog. Boy, the fog is intense in this game. I did not expect it to be so, so gnarly. Uh, but we are back. And uh, this guy, this karate guy is like, thank you so much for using defog there. I've been standing here. Yeah, I had no idea where the hell I was. <laughs> he actually doesn't even battle you. There's a ninja here. But we're just going to run right past you. And, uh, oh, okay. This route actually has some pretty scary trainers. Is what I remember. As an ace trainer... I have to take battles in stride. Need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. Alright, last time we had a run-in with some ace trainers, we had some death. So, let's see how this goes. At least, it was probably mostly because it was a double battle, but let's see how this goes. Freaking Ponyta. And you will pay the price, Ponyta. Pay the ultimate price with your life. He's dead. I need to put the Apon back on the team because I need it to get to 32 to learn double hit to evolve. Here's a Grottle. That's not ideal for me. Um... He awaits my directions. Flamethrower on this land before time looking ass. And, uh... Roasted and toasted. He dead. Let's switch up here. I'm gonna grab... It's time to get Choco Chimp. And replace a... Um, I really hate that the chat is always right in the way of this. We'll, we'll replace Lucky Chimes from now. Luxray's at level 32. So, I think we're good on... Leaving you in the box for a little while. Because my monkey needs to come, dang it. Alright. Uh, I don't like these trainers. I don't like them one bit. I feel like I should battle them, though, just because it might be kind of fun. <laughs> I generally, I think I avoid these people. But, you know what? We're doing it! Hello? Okay, so this is an unavoidable double battle. I mean, you can avoid the battle in general, but if you do battle them, you have to do them as a pair. And uh, they have two Pokemon. Jen and Zack. I think they have a Gyarados and a Raichu. Yes! These are, this, is the, this is the people! Oh no, this is actually not good. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, hmm. So... The reason why they have this combo is because Gyarados... You know, you, you try to use an electric move on it, but the Raichu has Lightning Rod. So, both level 27s. I'm going to be kind of screwed here, actually. This isn't very good. Um, hmm. Oh jeez, boys. I think the Gyarados is going to target Monferno, so Cheerio's probably safe here. I'm going to go for a Leech Seed on the Gyarados. And then I'm going to switch Pebbles out as it's probably going to go for like a Waterfall here. Let's go into... Ah, man, I don't want to bring in Captain Crunch though because there's a freaking Raichu out there. This is a scary double battle, Jesus. Okay, uh, hmm. I'm bringing in Captain Crunch in hopes that the Raichu does not Thunderbolt the Monferno slot. That's what's going to happen. There's no way they double the Monferno slot. The Gyarados is definitely going to probably use Waterfall here on Staravia. We get the Intimidate, which is nice at least for the Gyarados. It kind of all depends on what this Raichu does here. Oh god. Raichu does Thunderbolt. Uh, no! <laughs> Bro. Why'd the Raichu go- why do you do that? The Gyarados used Leer! What the fuck? Honestly, yeah, worst case scenario, I go back and I can catch another Staravia, so that's okay. But, I mean, Captain Crunch was with me for a while there, that actually... That hurts. That hurts bad. But, <laughs> fuck. Like, Gyarados can crunch? Oh, man. Um, so we have a lead seat on the Gyarados, which is good. I think- I feel like I need to double Gyarados here and then we're good. If I Mega Drain it, and then I let Gengar, rather than go for Thunderbolt, because the Raichu has freaking Lightning Rod, we go for uh, just a Hex on that thing. Uh, 
Uh, don't double my gun. If they double my Gengar, I'm gonna be upset. I'm already upset. This is not work. This is not going well. I should not have battled these freaking Ace Trainers. I just I knew it. I knew I should have done. It. Oh no, that didn't do enough. That did nothing. <gasps> Raichu goes for the light screen. Oh god. Yo. Why am I being? Why is this a VGC battle? Damn it. Double battles are always a mistake for real. So yeah, we go for the hex, and then that actually takes out the Gyarados. Perfect. Perfect. It's probably more ideal to take care of the Raichu first, so that way you can just use an electric move on the Gyarados, but I just like to do things the hard way. Hard way, because, you know, why not? Ooh, Giga Drain. Okay, so no more Mega Drain for us. Now we're Giga Boys. Roselia OP. Honestly, I feel like Star Raptor was probably the one I would prefer have, to have died there the most, as much as you hate to see it, but Reese's Puff to 30. Nice. Wants to learn Stealth Rock. I honestly might just teach that. Don't really need Rock Throw. Raichu goes for a Thunder Punch. Physical Raichu is an interesting play. Okay. They just have the light screen up. We're going to just proceed to... Now we Giga Drain you, and now we can switch this thing out. We're going to go into Los Pebles, which will be okay. So we lost them on, but I think we're alright. Good God. All the Ace Trainers in this game will literally take your life. Alright, so that was scary. I'm gonna run back and heal. Um, and also, well, yeah. We'll just, let's let's bury our, our fallen soldier here now. Uh, Death Box has earned another, <laughs> has taken another life from us. Look at those dead friends. Alright, here's the scene of the crime. These are the assholes. Whoa, Golem says, I want in on the action. Move, move, sir, move. Another ace trainer here. Um, Whoa, he just, okay, he found me. Hello? He seemed to have a lot of confidence. confidence. Let's see if it's justified. Why are all the ace trainers on this route? For real. Ace trainer with a Motham, I kind of respect it. I, re I put some respect on it. Flamethrower, only level 25 Motham, bro. And see you later, Onyx. Alright, so we got a bridge. Golem says, I'm gonna stay over there. Um, ooh, we can ride the bicycle over here. But do I need to have, like, the... Hippity hoppity jumpity one. Oh. Whoa! Jesus, ninja. These guys are always just scaring the shit out of me. Alright. He awaits my directions. Thank you for telling me you're awaiting my directions. And that's a dead moth. Move, go. Uh, okay, we're in. And there's just an item over here. This better be a good freaking item. I don't remember what this is. Do you think it's the same Bidoof every time, or if it's a different one? <gasps> it's TM30 for Shadow Bomb! Alright, that was worth it. When I said... When I was talking about a good item, that's the kind of thing I'm, I'm talking about. Nice. Definitely worth it for Gengar. Here you go, buddy. Um, we'll just get rid of Hex. Because I don't have a status move on this thing anyway, so... <laughs> the Golem rolling on the tightrope. <laughs> so funny. Come on, buddy. Come on, Golem. Where are you at, man? Where are you at? Is he coming? Is he coming? Oh, he just spawned. Okay. Just freaking teleport. Can't go learn Shadow Ball naturally at level 48, so I think it's really worth it. Okay. So it does learn it, but just high. High level. That's alright. We got a karate dude. Probably just with lead up. This buff physique isn't just for show. What's it for? Are you gonna fight me? He's gotta, oh, this might actually be the Machoke that killed my... Can you GP to me? Killed my Prinplup back in the early days of my... Platinum Nuzlocke, if anybody remembers. Level 30, uh, 29 Machoke. Um, I think I could actually probably just switch right into Gengar. Be safe. And then just kill it with a Psychic. No funny business here, Machoke. Low sweep. Get predicted. Sweeps right through me. Very nice. I feel like if you use a fighting move on a ghost type, you should get hurt by recoil. Just like high jump kick. Now we go for the Psychic. We should be okay. Gengar with that damage. I love Gengar so much. And that kills him a choke. Alright. Crisis. Averted. Yeah, maybe we switch Booberry for... I like Special K. We don't need multiple fighting types on the team, but actually, especially since I'm just battling this bird guy and I just have my flower in front. That was a bold move. Alright, whatever. There is life cereal, yeah. I have Thunderbolt Gyarados, though. Which is all you need in life, to be honest. Thunderbolt on your Gyarados. And all the cool kids are doing it. One more T-Bolt. Takes care of it. 
See you later, Hooters. What else you got? Just brings out a towel, and there ain't no way that thing's fitting in that cage. <laughs> Gyarados should be all right here with a couple. Okay, never mind. Noctowl actually has some pretty great special defense. <gasps> Sky attack. Damn. Cloaked in the harsh light. Choco Chimp grows to level 32. Freaking finally. If you want to evolve your APOM, and you're thinking, man, this is taking forever. I feel you. But once you get to 32, you now get double hit. Finally. He can hit twice, so now he has the ability to um, just basically grow another tail. So Ambipom is always a Pokemon that I always really liked, so I'm excited to have Ambipom on the squad. So we're almost there. Oh wait, no, just kidding. He just evolves right away. I thought that we had to level it up with the move, but I guess that works. All right. I do want to walk with this thing just to see what it looks like while I'm walking with Ambipom. Add that data to the Pokedex to eat. It definitely shucks nuts with its two tails. It rarely uses its arms now. <laughs> His tails are arms. Nice. Monkey. Actually, I'm going to put you in front now, too. Haven't really used this thing in battle too much because as an APOM, he about frail and stuff. But now, continuing on, hey, we got an old dude. And we haven't seen this trainer class, the elder guys, right? Me? Lose to someone so young? I dare say not. You dare say, do you? <laughs> All right, what does this guy got? All right, three Pokemon. Veteran Brian. What do you have here, Buizel? Nice. No Floatzel, huh? You've, you're, how long have you had your Pokemon for, sir? You're a veteran, and you still have a freaking Buizel. I'm sure he's, you know, switching his team around a little bit, but yeah. Um, let's go for... We're okay. obligated to use double hit because I'm Ambipom, obviously. Oh, yeah. Didn't even need to hit twice. Pimp slap you one time, and we're good. Okay, and there's a Machoke, so... <laughs> Sorry, Ambipom. You're probably not going to enjoy this fight. Um... Not much that will enjoy this fight, actually. Psybeam on your Machoke. I used to love coming through with fake out Amber Palms. All right. And then actually, yeah, Fury Swipes is pretty good, too. I totally forget about Technician. The next is a Giraffe Rig. Chocolate Chimp doing the most. Taking a stop, but he don't care. Let's uh, double hit. So Technician gives you boosted damage if your move is less than 60 base power, I believe, right? Bam, 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 bam. Or is it under 70? I think it might actually be under 70. The power of youth. It's startling. Yes, yeah, so you look very startled. So we're pretty much there. We've got some beautiful berry trees. We're going to take all these berries. This is still Route 210. Christ. Why would? How could this be the same route? Imagine this... Being the same route as this. That's like it's fucking 30 miles good. apart. Man. Okay, just kidding. I actually cannot catch something new here because this was apparently like the Salacian, the route right above Salacian Town. It's the same thing, so. Man. Why wouldn't they make this a new route? I'm upset. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if we continue over yonder, we get to Celestic Town. And uh, this is a pretty fun little town. We might as well talk to some, some peeps. What's happening? Howdy! Studying up on local history? No. <laughs> uh, this 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 house looks important. What do we got here? Hello? Where are you from? Hmm, Twinleaf Town, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Verity? Lake is said to be home to Mesquite, the being of emotion. Must be looking over you. Okay. Cool. My big sister is studying the myths of Sinnoh. She wants to know how people in Pokemon interact in the days of myths. Okay, cool. I like your bonsai tree, and that's really a useless a useless house. What's up, dude? Mount Cornet towers at the center of Sinnoh. In a way, it's the closest place to the sky in this region. Cool. Gross. A monkey with udders in his tail. <laughs> he doesn't have udders. Those are his fingers. Now I can't unsee that. Thank you, chat. I like the... Oh, hello? There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but it only seemed to make him angry. Saying he will blow the town up with a bomb. <laughs> The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. With your Pokemon, huh? Well, let's fish here. This technically is a new encounter for the city. Um, I don't know if there's new stuff that we can get here, but we're going to give it a try with a good rod. Why not? Come on. Come on. Yay! We've got a Barboach, boys. Look at this little wormy guy. Also, I'm just standing on the water, by the way. Look at. <laughs> I was going to say, look how cool this battle environment is, though. It's actually pretty sick. I like it. Let's capture this here, Boach, shall we? Um, let's actually... Why, I just use a net ball. Barboach is a fish. 
Just put you right in a net ball. Cast out the old net. And we've got him. Alright. Snacks the Barboach. We've got a little couple more things to look at. Do you know what they say? They say a Pokemon created the Sinnoh region. You don't say. Hmm. Hello? I must bear down and train for that. Time is unimportant. Therefore, I have no need for a watch. Take this from me. We got an analog watch poke edge out. That's useful. Thank you for that guy. I was going to say, at least someone finally freaking gives me something in one of these damn houses, man. For real, though. Um, there is one more house over here. We're going we're gonna to make sure we're not missing anything, and then we'll go down to the center. Oh, shit. Hello? Welcome. May I help you? You sure can help me. I'll buy some stuff from you. Um, I actually really don't actually need anything, to be honest. Oh, some Dusk Balls, Quick Balls, and Timer Balls, though? Hold up. We will grab some of them. I'm going to get... Oh, wait, I want 10 good dust balls, sorry. I'm gonna get 10 of each. Alright, so at the center here, they got a nice little shrine thing. It, Celebi doesn't live there, but hey, what are you doing here, nerd? This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist. I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut, shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's gonna be? Gonna mess with me? Oh, I'm gonna. I ain't afraid. Also, look at those uh, little hieroglyph type of painting deals of Dialga and Palkia. The Palkia is looking a little sus, but... Brought my gentleman. The gentleman is here. Ow! He scratched sorry, me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> He's just like, I brought a sharp being. Look at that little guy. Alright, Zuki, you want to see me destroy this beautifly? Like you've never seen a beautifly destroyed before? He's like, I would like to get the bug. That's how you do it. This Ambipom has been a great addition to the squad. I'll have you guys know. What else you got? Alright, Krogunk, honestly, I have faith that this double hit will kill you. So, oh, sucker punches. Okay, that's fine. Smart crow. Oh, I missed. <laughs> what the hell? Whatever, I'm trying again. Didn't even need to hit you twice. Call that single hit. Boy. Too much to handle. Whatever, I'm out of this one horse town. There's nothing to do here, anyways. This one horse town, huh? That old charm. May I see that, dear? What's wrong? Or what, what's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it, delivered to me. That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. You handed over the old charm to the elder. Yeah, why would they say one horse town and not one ponyta town? Do horses exist in the Pokemon world or is it only ponytas? It's you know. Hmm. Ooh, it's looking pretty cool in here. We go look at these uh the old lake trios on the on the wall. You examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. Freaking terrible drawings. It looks like Piplove at the top. <laughs> These are three strange things forming a triangle in the middle of them is a shining sphere. What is this all about? Oh, Granny's coming again. The cave painting reminds me of an old story. There existed a being so powerful it was considered a, a deity at the time. Opposing this being were three Pokemon. Uh, the three kept balance of the one as if they formed a triangle. <laughs> cool. Ancient legend of Sinnoh that is told to this day in Celestic Town. Ah, oh, yes, I found something useful. You should take these. I love how she doesn't have any... Where are your glasses resting? I just just sitting on your nose. We get TM ninety fives. Nice. It's not even on our ears. What is these? Surf. Hell yes. So that's pretty nice. Using controls, a huge wave drags everything around it except for the user itself. It attacks. And my grandma, granddaughter, said something about what was it? Yes, yeah, so you can surf from your poke edge to cross water, such as seas and rivers. To use that hidden move in the field, however, you must have first obtain the hard home gym badge. Finally, we can do the hard home badge. Very nice. What a, what a nice old lady. Just gives us surf and just dips out. So we're going to head out as well. And... Oh! There he is! Appears to have been insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective. One that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world. A world without strife. <laughs> I still can't get over the way this guy looks. However, that point seems to be un unavailable here. We've met before, yes? It was Mount Cornet. If you discover any power derived from the Legends of Sinnoh, inform me. It's like, let me know. From that power <laughs> is what I need uh, to create my new world. Okay. Man, he just always just randomly shows up, tells us a couple things, and he's like, well, see you. And uh, that's pretty much what there is to do here in Celestic. So if we take a look... Oh, I accidentally always be going into houses. I really did not mean to do that. It's too... It's weird. Um... But if we take a look at the town map, so our next objective is to defeat Fantina. Um, but I believe we can actually go left. And can I even go through Mount Cornet back to here? Is that how? Is that the way I'm supposed to go? Do I just hit a big old loop? I can actually just fly back to Hardhome. 
Um, but there is actually some route stuff over here. Okay, so it turns out Route 211 is actually also right by Eterna. So we already had an encounter here, so that's a real big buzzkill, but whatever. Um, next order of business is to go whip some, some Fantina ass. And in order to do so, we need to get back to freaking Hardhome. So I think you can actually... Damn, you can just fly from the town map. How great is that? We're just going to fly to Hardhome. And uh, we probably actually need to do some grinding before we do so, but... I think we're going to call it a day on this one. Um, thank, you, thank you guys very much for watching. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. Leave me a comment. You know, I like to see, love to see the interaction. So yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you. And we will continue tomorrow. Peace out.